Hey yo, it's your boy Juicy John and we're talking about tennis. Yeah, you heard it right, tennis. And you might be like, ah, tennis, that's boring. Well, unlike you, I like me some tennis. I'm talking Wii Sports tennis. That's about it. But as a Roblox sports YouTuber, I'm always looking for new games. And lo and behold, on my Roblox homepage was an advert for Wimble World. Now apparently the Wimbledon, it's like the Super Bowl of tennis. But we don't care about that. We're here for some quality tennis gameplay on Roblox.com. And if that's what you came to this game for, then you might as well leave because oh boy, it delivers on none of that. Now the map in the game, it looks all right. It's made by the same people who made the Gucci event, but the problem is that while they know how to build maps, these event people don't know how to build actual games. So as you can see the game here, it is a best of one. There's no best of three or best of fives that would be a little too much fun now I'm gonna break down the in-depth controls to this game so you use WASND to move and then space to hit the ball and you try and build up power in your racket to like slam the ball as you just saw there but other than that there is no control you can't aim the ball to the left or to the right trying to hit it like quickly to the corner have any sort of strategy and because you cannot aim the game changed the rules of tennis you see the lines where you would think oh if you hit the ball outside of the line well that doesn't count no the lines in Wimbledon world are just a recommendation you can hit the ball pretty much anywhere and it counts as inbounds on top of this it's extremely hard to tell whether the ball is going to land short or deep as the the game devs do not know how to properly code a shadow as it stays the same size regardless of how high the tennis ball may be in the air. On top of this, the controls are just clunky and awkward. It does not feel like a quality game at all. Now aside from the outdoor stadiums, there is one interior stadium which plays exactly the same you would think it would be a best of three because it's different maybe give you exp or maybe kind of like a king of the court but no it is the exact same speaking of xp you gain some for every single match you play i think the max level may be 15 as that's the highest prize award i'm not sure who's going to play this game to get to level 15 as i dedicated an hour and only got to level seven you also earn wimble bucks from playing these games and if you look in the shop they have a pricing model because obviously in games you can spend robux to get the in-game money and you would think the more you spend the more you save but wimbledon world has a revolutionary new idea the less you spend the more you save i mean why does roblox allow these mediocre companies to produce such lame games and then shove them on the front page for everyone to see like, you would think there's some quality barrier to entry. Is it just corporate connections? Because there's so many high school dev teams of kids who deserve money, who actually make quality products that never see the light that this embarrassment gets. You would think they would work with some existing dev team that knows what they're doing to create a tennis. Nah, let's put Wimble World items in another game made by our same company. Strongman Simulator? A clicking pay to win garbage game? What does does that have to do with Wimble World, bro? I mean, it's just depressing that all Roblox events are just glorified as and they don't care about quality at all. But if you're still watching this far and are interested in a playable and well-made tennis game, I'm here to show you RS Tennis. I've streamed it a few times. Let's get into it. So to start, the items in this game do not affect gameplay. It isn't pay to win at all. It's just pay to drip. And you can see my Gucci shirt as we are flooding the tennis game. Now there's two ways to play 1v1s or 2v2s and also in the center of the map there is a king of the court where you can try and hold on to your spot but here's some gameplay from a regular 1v1. Isn't it amazing how you actually aim your serve? Now you use your left and right click to hit the ball back. You can use space to try and spike it. Q and E to dive. You have a stamina that you need to control. You don't want to run out of it and burn out too quickly. Also instead of just one quick round it is a first to four which allows for for a more balanced 1v1 where somebody can't win out of luck and while i just play this game casually if you truly want to sweat there are ranked courts where you can't even see the aim on your serve and people go sicko mode trying to win this game hitting the ball perfectly to the corner trying to get any advantage they can which 
you're not going to be able to do in Wimbledon world as you cannot aim the ball. That's just a quick overview of RS Tennis and why it is far superior and deserves a spotlight unlike Wimbledon world. So I'll leave it linked in the description below. But if you enjoyed this video, smash like and subscribe. Comment if you want some RS Tennis gameplays and I'll catch y'all next time. Lace up.